Thank you for joining us as we continue Balian's story through a mother's journal. January 20th, 2019. We got word that Balian will be the first in the operating room tomorrow. 7.30 will be our slot in the OR. I am filled with anxiousness. Worry that Balian will have severe pain. Worry that I won't be able to properly take care of him. Worry that he will be upset with me after all the treatments. Worry that he will ask me why I chose this option instead of another. So much worry about what I know is the best option for us, and especially for him. Balian said today, we fight this cancer because we can. We can fight this cancer, and you know what, Mom? We are going to be okay. How does he know what to say to me when I am nervous? How can he be such a warrior when I feel like a coward? He tells me to calm down sometimes too. Right now, he is my world. January 21st. Sitting in the waiting room, waiting to hear any news about what is going on in the operating room. I am as calm as I can be at this moment. I know that after this surgery, we will have almost no cancer left in his body. That is the goal. That is the end of this journey. But I will live in constant fear that the cancer will return. I know that much of myself, but it will make our time all that more precious to me. My boys are the light of my world. Balian will feel pain beyond belief before he should have to endure pain. I'm scared. I feel lost. Got Balian back to his room. He is in some pain and is still on morphine to manage the lung biopsy incision and any pain in his leg. The mass was removed and the lesion on the tibia was removed. We will see what the recovery period of this operation will be like in a couple of days. January 22nd, the doctor came in and gave us the news from the lung biopsy, non-cancerous, best news ever. January 24th, on the day that Balian had his surgery, Eric came down to Albuquerque. It put me more at ease because he was here. I love my husband, much as he tests me, and he loves me. It was a show of family strength and family bond when he came to us. It calms all three of us down. He watched over Balian while I was able to sleep that night. I am thankful to his work for allowing him to come during this time of treatment. January 25th. We have no reference point for his recovery from chemo or surgery. We get told from the staff here at the hospital that Balian is doing great. How much is that them being our cheerleaders? And how much is actual amazement? I sometimes wonder about that. Is it even worthy of my time to reflect on that point? Should I just be happy that he is tough and resilient enough to make it this far in his treatment? Celebrate the victories no matter how small or monumental they are. Right now, almost all feels monumental. All feels celebratory for us. I want him to know that he is loved and safe, but for right now, it is painful. So we will make it the best we can while in this moment of victory for this skirmish. There will be more to come, but for right now, let us bask in the glory of triumph and recoup for the next go-round. Balian is one tough kid. Please help us raise awareness by sharing Balian's story with all of your friends and join us again next Tuesday as we continue with a Mother's Journal. Thank you.